Hello everyone, my name is Olivia and today I will be talking you through a scene from the film The Truman Show. Before I begin, please pause this video and go watch the scene provided in the description. Then meet me back here for the rest of my talk. So now that you've watched the clip, here are a couple questions I asked myself and hopefully you did as you were watching the scene. Like, why do they have an ad for an unbranded product, hot chocolate? And why does the camera look like a fishbowl when it's in Truman and Merrill's perspectives? In this particular scene, I will be looking at the two types of film form, mise-en-scene and camera work and cinematography. So when thinking of mise-en-scene, think about everything that's put in front of the camera. So that goes from lighting to production design, makeup, costumes, even product placement. Product placement is when there's a name brand product in a scene of a film, either directly or indirectly known to the audience, that gives companies an opportunity to have a free ad within a film itself. In this scene of The Truman Show, we see an example of product placement. However, the film itself is meant to serve as an, as an actual TV show. So the only way to get an ad or commercial in the show is for the actors in the show to start talking about random items in their homes or from the store from a store as a form of advertisement you're probably thinking Meryl take talks about the most basic brand of hot chocolate unknown to us in the clip I just that we just watched how is that product placement it's product placement in the sense that this is a television show within a movie so the film movie itself is not getting actual name brand companies like famous companies to show off their products but the tv show is getting unnamed companies that are apparent to the world of the film to fill in commercial time because this show the truman show is on 24 7. it is the life of truman and he is the star of the show, so there's no commercial breaks, no nothing. Those commercial breaks are technically adverts to shown and talked to by the actors in the show. It's weird, I know. When I first saw it, I was like, this is weird. I don't like that. But it makes the film really cool, so yeah. So unlike the other type of film form which we saw, which is not as easy to point out, specifically the example I gave, but camera work and cinematography is very obvious to notice throughout this film and particularly this scene. It's very unique to the concept of the film itself because of the fact it's supposed to feel like a TV show. The way the cameras for the show are hidden in the oddest places makes you think even more and start to wonder what is going on. In this scene with Truman and Merrill, there are two different kinds of lenses being used, one more than the other. The first is your basic normal lens. It's 50 millimeters and it basically is like watching from the perspective of the human eye. We see it used in the beginning of the scene when Merrill and Truman are talking in the kitchen and then a couple of seconds near the end when Truman's friend comes in to save the day. However, as the scene progressive and gets m progresses and gets more tense, intense, the um, the use of wide-angle lenses, also known as fisheye, is predominantly used. This lens is supposed to exaggerate the depth and the size of an object to close proximity to the lens itself. For the latter half of this scene, it gives both a comedic effect but also a way to let the TV audience watch from different perspectives. What's actually kind of funny about the use of this particular lens is how the camera itself is supposed to look like it's kind of, I don't know how to describe it. It's, for example, the, the way they use the cameras in the scene is through a pin on Merrill's shirt and then through a button on Truman's shirt. And it just looks like, like the camera and then like has like a little, it, if you saw it, then it, you could tell it didn't look right. But I thought that was really, really cool, and I thought it was an interesting take on reality TV, and that cameras will be hidden in the most obscure places. So, I thought it was kind of cool, the way they 
film this and this is also evident throughout the entire film as well which is why I also chose this film and the scene because of the cinematography and the camera work. I mean more so the camera work than the cinematography but it was just interesting. So I chose this film for its satirical approach to the idea of Big Brother is always watching. However, it's not just Big Brother, but someone other than one person, like the whole world is watching everything that you're doing. It's nothing, nothing is what it seems. For example, it seems odd when Meryl avoids having a serious conversation with Truman by giving an ad for hot chocolate. In that one moment, you start to realize something isn't right. Then you have the hidden cameras watching every second of Truman's life. Cameras that are in the most random places as the world watches him live what he thinks is a normal life. As a parallel, not the greatest, but it is a parallel, would be celebrities. They have to go about their lives being watched by everyone everywhere, from social media to being out with friends and family to being followed back to their homes. Just like those celebrities, in a way, Truman does not go anywhere without the whole world watching him 24-7. Overall, I personally love this film and I highly recommend it for you guys to all watch. It may seem weird and quirky, but it has an overlining message that is interesting to figure out as you watch Truman's life unfold. I hope you all enjoyed this clip talk as much as I did. Thank you for watching.